They let the matter with church folk. They feel like God's supposed to do it all. Look at somebody and say, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. So we will prepare ourselves for the storm that will come. We would get the ice and we would get the water. We would get the flashlight because I don't know how long this one might last. There are some storms that might come and last one day. There's some storms that may come and last two days, but when you've been in the midst of a hurricane that tears everything up, I just don't know how long this one might last. And because I don't know how long it's going to last, I've got to prepare myself. I got to regenerate myself, revive myself. Sometimes they would tell us that you won't have water, you won't have lights, and you might have to leave the safety of your home, and you may have to go into a shelter where you don't know anybody at all. But one thing about being in the shelter, everybody there is in trouble. Everybody there got a problem. Everybody there is looking for help. We are all in trouble. We all been through the storm but after you've been through the worst of your battles after you've been through the storms after you've been through your problems then you say now I, I, I've got to stand back and assess the damages that's been done talking about warfare I've got to step back and look at some things because there's some battles that are going to leave you scarred there's some battles that's going to leave you Damage. There are some battles that's going to leave you on the brink of life. I got through the battle and I'm still alive. I got through the battle and I still got my eyes. So I got through the battle, but now I got to look at the damage control. Jesus. Now I ain't got nobody in this place tonight. I know y'all been fasting, but listen, I want you to get with it tonight because I'm just two seconds from taking my seat. So I've been injured. I've been hurt. And so I've got to stand back now and find out what damage has been done to me. And you see, that's the problem with us. We don't want to stand back and look at the damage. Because when I look at the damage now, I've got to figure out how to get myself back together. I've got to see where my shortcomings are. Damage control. They do this after every war. Damage control. Damage control is defined as the rapid initial control of hemorrhaging and contamination. Temporary closure of resuscitation to normal physiology and subsequent re-exploration and definitive repair. In other words, I won the battle, but now I'm injured. I won the battle, but now I'm bleeding. I'm here I've got to have some damage control going on in my life. I've got to find somebody that's going to come and do me a real quick. you got to stitch me up fast. I ain't got no help. Oh, God, I wish I would. I wish here I am. I got to find somebody because I'm on the battlefield still and have not come in yet. I'm on the battlefield and I've been injured. I'm damaged. And so I got to find somebody that's going to stop this bleeding. I mean this. I'm bleeding out of my misery. I'm bleeding out of my injury. I'm bleeding out of my pain. I'm bleeding out of being abused. Some of you are bleeding out because you've been molested. Some of you are bleeding out because you've been rejected. You're bleeding out because you've been hurt. You're bleeding out because you've been abandoned. Let your hand just say, I'm bleeding out. And, oh, y'all ain't ready for this. You, you ain't ready. You ain't ready. I'm so now that uh, you've come quickly and stopped the bleeding, I've got to look out for contamination. Because I've been in the battle. I'm wounded. I won. But I'm injured. And now there's germs in the air. I am open for another attack. 